nervous. What do I say? What do I say? How do I introduce myself? <laughs> Greetings, Earthling. I come in peace. Take me to your leader. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I don't care about your leader. I'm just here to play video games. Want to see my setup? What? Are, are you afraid? I mean, if I were going to abduct you, I would have done it already. So just, just follow me. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I'm going to go out on a limb here and assume that this is your first contact with an extraterrestrial life form. I'm sure you have tons of questions for me, so I'll start by answering the most important questions first. My name is Grey Alien. I'm a brand new virtual YouTuber from the Andromeda Galaxy. That's two and a half million light years from here. Yes, my species has invented faster than light travel. No, I'm not going to tell you how we do it. That would be met with a very severe punishment. My age? Well, I'm not sure exactly what it is in Earth years, but I first arrived on your planet about 30 years ago when my father's mission to observe the human race took him into orbit around the planet. A few years later, his mission ended, and we went back to my home planet, but... Uh, several years back, I decided to return and see what kinds of video games you guys had been developing in the meantime. And I've been in orbit observing you ever since. So, I guess it would be a little more than 30 human years? My birthday is March 3rd. That's not actually my real birthday. My real birthday is 8086.9694. But that's a date on my homeworld's calendar. It doesn't exactly translate to an Earth date. So I've chosen March 3rd to be my birthday because it's the same day that a certain famous sci-fi movie premiered. I wonder if you can figure out which one that is. My height is 140 centimeters. That's 4 foot 7 inches for those of you using the Imperial system. Now... You may think that's kind of short, but I assure you, I'm pretty tall for people on my planet. You Earthlings are all just giants. Moving right along. Like I said a minute ago, the primary reason that I came back to your planet was your video games. So, without further ado, here's a list of some of my favorite games. They're in no particular order but Super Metroid is probably my favorite. I've beaten it more than I've beaten any other single video game, and I'd like to think that I'm pretty good at it at this point. I've also dumped way more hours than I care to mention into Terraria, and I'd like to dump way more hours into it. It's always fun, every world's a little bit different, and it's just a unique game. What's the best Super Mario game ever created? If you answered Super Mario Bros. 3, then you'd be correct. Okay, you're entitled to your own opinion, but it's my favorite Mario game of all time. My introduction to the Pokemon series was with Blue and Yellow. Those were my first two Pokemon games, and I've enjoyed the series ever since. They've gotten a little bit easier over the years, and... Maybe not all of them include all of the available Pokémon, but uh, they're still enjoyable little JRPGs. I also love pretty much every entry in the Zelda series. A Link to the Past is probably my favorite, but A Link Between Worlds and Breath of the Wild definitely are close runners-up. And I'd like to play some Zelda games on stream. I really enjoy the Castlevania series as well, particularly the modern ones, the more Metroidvania style. Maybe you're noticing a pattern here? Super Metroid, Zelda, Castlevania, even Terraria has a little bit of the Metroidvania spirit in it. Metroidvania is absolutely my favorite genre, and I'd like to play a lot of those on YouTube. 
We'll see what we can dig up in that genre. Next slide! Okay, so I'm a VTuber, right? I'd wager that most of us are giant otaku weebs. So, of course I watch a lot of anime. It's just part of the job description. So, I tried to pick a top five. It's really difficult to do. There's just so much good stuff out there. That said, my number one is absolutely Steins Gate. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. It's an absolute masterpiece of a show. Um, I mean, I'm a sucker for time travel stories, so I may be a little bit biased, but it is absolutely brilliant and it is a wild roller coaster of an anime. Go watch it. Blood Plus is another one of my favorites. It's the anime that made me realize that I really like anime and brought me squarely into the otaku fold. It's a little long and its pacing suffers a bit in the middle, but it's a brilliant story and well worth watching. Definitely one of the best vampire stories ever made. Dr. Stone, an anime about rebuilding civilization from scratch. How could I not enjoy that, being an alien of science myself? The descriptions of Senku's projects are a little bit light on details, but they are accurate. And, uh, what other anime could possibly make you cry over the invention of the light bulb? Violet Evergarden. I generally enjoyed Violet Evergarden, but episode 10 was absolutely the best anime episode of anything I have seen in my entire life. I had no words when it was over. I highly recommend it. But you may want to watch it when you're alone because it's a terrible day for rain. Avatar The Last Airbender. Now I know, you're looking at me sideways right now saying, that's not an anime. Are you sure about this, Gray? And yes, I'm totally sure. It's one of my favorite anime of all time. Yeah, okay, maybe it was created under the guise of a children's cartoon, but the writing is absolutely fantastic. They knew exactly where they were going from the start, and they got there. It's just fantastically well written. It's absolutely great entertainment, even for adults. Computer, next slide. Okay, so, this has no real bearing on my future streaming activities, but I'd like to give you a list of some of my favorite movies, just so that you can get a better idea of what kind of alien I am. So, we'll start with Memento. Memento is very good, it's an absolute classic. It's a little bit difficult to follow, because the story is told in reverse chronological order, starting at the end and working its way back to the beginning, but it's a wild ride, I highly recommend it. Ghostbusters 1 and 2, I don't even think I need to introduce these. They're practically part of Earthling culture at this point. So, yeah, I love those movies. I love the Back to the Future trilogy as well. Again, it needs no introduction. I already said I'm a sucker for time travel stories, though, so you probably guessed that was going to be on my list. Dark City is a great thriller. It starts out with a murder investigation and... Things just get crazy from there. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen it yet. It is a great movie. Do you know the way to Shell Beach? Wreck-It Ralph? Of course, a movie about video games was going to make my list. It's a fun movie to watch, and uh, it's fun to try and count how many Easter eggs you can recognize. Okay, so let's talk about music for a quick minute here. Obviously, I'm into lots of video game music because I play a lot of video games, and that's just where most of my music comes from. The original Unreal has got one of the best video game soundtracks of all time, in my opinion. Uh, the theme song to Halo is one of the most iconic and recognizable video game themes. Undertale basically manages to nail the feel of those old-school RPGs pretty perfectly and come up with some really killer tunes. Uh, I like most of the music from the Final Fantasy games, pretty much anything from Squaresoft, uh, I mean Square Enix, and so on. You know, pretty much, if it's in a video game, I'm probably going to enjoy it. 
Outside of the realm of video games, I listen to a lot of Japanese artists. Aimer is one of my favorites. Her songs, Dareka Umiwo and Nainui, are a couple of my favorite songs of all time. I could just listen to those on loop. Kanako Ito is also very good. You may know her as the singer for the opening of Steins Gate, but she's also done a lot of other stuff, so give her music a listen. Calliope Mori makes good stuff. I didn't even think I liked rap until I listened to her debut song, so give her music a listen. It's pretty good. And finally, I like pretty much anything with violin in it. I like it so much that I actually started learning violin. Violin kind of reminds me of an instrument from my home world. I'm not very good at violin yet, but maybe someday I'll play for you on stream. That's probably the closest you'll get to a karaoke stream out of me. I'm, I'm definitely not a singer. Just to round things out a bit, here are a few more of my interests. I enjoy electronics. I'm just a hobbyist with no formal training, but I do have great fun building things and making them work successfully. I mean, your Earth technology is very fascinating to me. It's quite ancient by my people's standards, but there's a certain retro charm to it. I also enjoy programming. I wasn't into programming before I came to your planet. But as a young alien, I played around a lot with Unreal Editor and started to learn scripting through that. And, well, the rest is history. I'm programming at a professional level now, so it's one of the things that I really enjoy. I also enjoy photography as a hobby. I mostly take landscape shots, sunsets, foggy days, starry skies, those kinds of things. Maybe I'll show you some of my better work one of these days. Now that I've told you a little bit about myself, do you guys want to see my full costume? Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Let's take a look at the costume. And yes, it is a costume. My official uniform looks a bit different. Maybe I'll show that off someday. Voila! What do you think? There were three main sources of inspiration for this costume. From the pauldrons to the red shirt. I wonder if you can name all three. What are you talking about, heels? I'm 140 centimeters without these shoes, I swear. The G stands for gray. Or does it stand for gaming? The world may never know. This bandolier is empty right now, but I'd like to fill it with pixel art badges of the games that I complete on stream, so look forward to that. And these pauldrons, do they look familiar to you? I only spent over 9,000 iterations getting them right. But let's get to the good stuff, shall we? I mean, you guys want to know why I'm here on YouTube, right? So this is just a short list of the types of content that I have planned. Obviously, I'm here because of video games. I love video games. I'm going to play a lot of video games. We're going to have fun with that. So game streams will be my primary form of content on this channel. But, I'd also like to do some electronics lessons. If any of you have ever had any interest in what makes your smartphone work, or your thermostat, your alarm clock, any of these types of things, I can teach you some basics. I'm only at a hobbyist level, but I do know the basics. So I'd like to do some electronics lessons. Maybe we can learn together. Along those same lines, I'd like to do some teardowns on stream. I'm only a hobbyist, as I mentioned, so I can't fully reverse engineer a circuit, but we can at least get broad ideas of how some of these devices work. Taking things apart goes a long way toward learning how they work, and can greatly help you in your electronics knowledge. I'd also like to do some programming lessons. A lot of people out there I know want to learn to code, but maybe haven't really gotten into it. And I'd like to share some of my knowledge with you and hopefully help you along that track. Maybe we can even make a small game together. Last but not least, reverse engineering doesn't stop at hardware. 
we can do software reverse engineering too. We're not going to disassemble other people's code. We're not going to do anything that violates any license agreements. But sometimes you see an effect in a video game or maybe an interesting gameplay mechanic and you're like, I wonder how they did that. Well, when we come across those in our gaming streams, we'll probably do a reverse engineering stream where we attempt to replicate said effect using code. I think that'd be a lot of fun. So I hope you'll join me for all of these types of streams, although I do understand that some people will only be interested in the gaming streams, but there'll be a lot of knowledge to be had in the other streams as well, and I think we'll have a lot of fun there too. But enough about the type of content that I have planned, I bet you're wondering when I'm going to start streaming. Well, I plan to start within the next week or so, but I will have my schedule up on my Twitter, ay underscore gray, as soon as this video is uploaded, and I plan to update it weekly to let you know what's going on if you need to plan to catch a stream ahead of time. And if you can't catch a stream, don't worry, you can always catch the archive. The first stream I'm going to do is Super Metroid. As I mentioned before, it's one of my favorite games, and I really enjoy it a lot. I think I'm pretty good at it at this point, so it should be a good game for my first stream. In the future, I'd also like to play the original Unreal. I'd like to play Terraria. I have some fun ideas for that. I'd like to play Half-Life and Black Mesa at the same time and compare them and see how Black Mesa has changed and improved the original Half-Life. I'd like to also play Hades. It's a really fun game, and I feel like we can have a lot of fun with that one. And I have a big list of games that I'd like to get through, and I'll discuss those in the future as well. If you have any game suggestions, don't hesitate to contact me via Twitter, or leave a comment down below. Now, I'm a busy alien with many important things to do, so I'll need you to leave my ship. What do you mean I didn't answer any of your questions about extraterrestrials? What do you mean I just kind of did my own thing? Well, if you want answers, you're just gonna have to catch a live stream. It can't be helped. <laughs> I told you I wasn't going to abduct you. Should I have warned the Earthling not to stand so close to my ship while I was taking off? Ah well, I'm sure they're fine.